Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Today I brought with me products from Skin 101 for Centella line, which is said to provide moist cleansing, does skincare, replenish moisture, skin soothing, and strengthens the skin barrier. So today I'll introduce these products, order of how they should be used, and a routine with these products. Skin 101 4's Madagascar Centella line with a total of 5 products. All the products are said to contain Centella Asiatica extract from Madagascar, Skin 104 signature ingredient, which quickly soothes the skin stimuli by external environment and is said to increase the skin's own strength on top of being soothing. All products are said to have been tested for skin irritation, but since cleansing oil cannot be tested for pH, the remaining four products are said to maintain the skin barrier by balancing the damaged skin with a mild acidic pH. Now that I've briefly talked about Skin 104's Madagascar Centella line, let's take a look at each product in detail. Madagascar Centella Light Cleansing Oil This cleansing oil is said to contain MCT oil, which can be obtained in a very small amount from coconuts. It's used to fully incorporate the soothing effect of Centella Asiatica extract into the cleansing oil, and with a combination of vegetable oil which is similar to sebum, it's said to relieve your skin of sebum, nourish, and feel light on the skin. Being light yellow in color, it's light and watery in texture, minimizing the heavy and sticky feeling particular to oil, therefore allowing for a refreshing cleanse without leaving any residue left over. It's important to dissolve makeup, sebum, pores, and wastes, as they are basically oil components, so it's important to ensure that they are well dissolved. And it's said that the cleansing ability of cleansing oil is determined by how well it emulsifies. When this cleansing oil comes into contact with water, it quickly emulsifies into a milky color, so it dissolves and removes sebum and makeup more gently and quickly. Pump an appropriate amount of oil onto your dry hands and apply it on the face, rolling on gently. When your sebum, makeup, and waste materials dissolve, apply water to emulsify and then wash it off with lukewarm water. It seems to remove makeup well that feels gentle without irritation. Usually, cleansing oil leaves a slippery feeling after use, but this product is residue-free and seems to clean very neatly. Actually, not only do I use cleansing oil to remove my makeup, I sometimes use it to dissolve my sebum as I also have a lot of blackheads. There are a lot of people who usually pull out or squeeze the sebum or blackheads, but if you use this cleansing oil that even dissolves sebum, you can take care of your pores cleanly. Next is Madagascar Centella Ampule Foam. The fine particles of the soda powder strongly absorbs waste and sebum to clean out pores, and instead of surface surfactants, it's said to contain four natural surfactants to help with deep cleansing. Also, it's said that the evaluation of the cleansing power of the ultra-fine dust replica has been completed. It has a moisturizing cream texture with a light brown color, which turns into dense and rich micro-bubbles when met with water that is said to gently adhere to the skin, providing your skin with a non-irritating cleanse. Sulfate surfactants are usually included in foam cleansers, so you should be able to feel tightness after use. But as I said before, since this ampule foam contains hypoallergenic cleansing oil extracted from coconut oil instead of surface surfactant, I didn't find my skin feeling tight after using it. You can just use this ampule foam with water just like a regular cleansing foam and gently massage your entire face and rinse it off thoroughly with lukewarm water. It can be used as a second face wash after using the cleansing oil, but since the foam is so soft and fine, I think it'd be great for those who are looking for a non-irritating face wash, and personally, I think it'd be also great as a morning cleanser. Next is the Madagascar Centella Toning Toner. This is said to contain PHA, a hypoallergenic moisture soothing peeling ingredient for sensitive skin that gently removes sebum and old dead skin cells and draws moisture to keep it moist even after use. It's said to have completed the non comedogenic test and is said to be suitable for use on sensitive and acne-prone skin. It has a transparent water texture with a light brown color that absorbs quickly without stickiness. At first, I thought it was just a toner, but it's a toner that gently removes the skin cells as it contains PHA. Centella Asiatica extract contains PHA, so it's a daily toning toner that not only manages clear and healthy skin texture, but also helps normalize skin turnover cycle. Just like using a regular toner, after washing my face, I'll moisten a cotton pad, wipe it along the skin texture, and tap it to absorb. On days when your skin is sensitive, moisten a soft cotton pad with toner and place it on the areas that needs to be soothed as an emergency soothing pack. Recently, I've seen partial skin peeling, and since the toning toner also takes care of the skin cells, when wiping the skin texture with this toner once, I was able to see that my skin getting smoother. And I was also worried that the skin will peel off and cause pigmentation, but after using it consistently for about a week, I was able to see that the darkened area had disappeared and that my skin had become clearer. Next is the Madagascar Centella Ampule. 
This product is said to be an ampoule that contains 100% Centella Aegyptica extract to soothe irritated skin and keep it clean and clear. In addition, it's said to have completed a non-comedogenic test, so it can be used on sensitive skin and acne-prone skin. It has a light brown non-sticky water formula unique to Centella Aegyptica extract, which feels like it provides a moist feeling that penetrates deeply into the skin. You can also take an appropriate amount of the ampoule and gently spread it over your entire face, but if you want more moist care, apply it in layers 2 to 3 times over to fill it deeper moisture, and if you need to soothe irritated skin, moisten a cotton pad with the ampoule and put it on the skin for about 5 minutes as a pack. Usually, ampules have a somewhat viscous formulation, so it can feel rather heavy, but this Madagascar Centella ampule has a really flowing water formulation, which was a bit surprising. As the ampule is absorbed deeply into the skin, it feels tacky, so I thought it would feel sticky when applied, but I was even more surprised that it did not feel sticky at all and had a really soft and smooth finish. The last product is Madagascar Centella Soothing Cream. It's a soothing cream that contains Centella Aegyptica extract from Madagascar and four types of ceramides that help strengthen the skin barrier, quickly absorbs into the skin, and cares for a weakened skin barrier to make the skin moist and powerful. It has the characteristic of having the light brown color of Centella Aegyptica extract and tacky gel texture, which applies freshly without stickiness and is said to take care of the damaged skin barrier. This cream is said to have a skin cooling solution which feels like it melts and spreads when I apply this gel type cream and at the same time it feels really cooling and soothing to my skin. I was worried that it would be lacking in moisture because it was a gel type but it felt deeply moisturizing and hydrating. I took an appropriate amount, applied it all over my face and pat it to absorb and I feel an ample amount of cooling and moisture but in the case of dry skin, I think it would be better to apply it on in two layers. Like this, I've introduced 5 products from Skin 104's Madagascar Centella line along with how-to and tips. Since none of these products contains artificial pigments or fragrances and comes in the original color of the raw materials, even those who are sensitive to artificial pigments or fragrances can use them with confidence. The order in which I introduce the products is the order of cleansing or applying skincare. And lastly, I'll finish the video by going over the order of cleansing and skincare. The order of basic cleansing and skincare is cleansing oil, ampule foam, toning toner, ampule, cream. When you're looking for a light skincare after cleansing, toning toner, ampule, or a cream. If you want to fill your skin with deeper moisture, I'd recommend doing a pack with toning toner or ampule and then apply the cream. Since the products in this line are effective products for soothing, they seem to be good products for soothing skin that is sensitive to UV rays. These products are recommended for all skin types, but I like to recommend them especially for those who have skin that needs to be soothed due to the rising heat. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.